Hey guys, very quick disclaimer for this video. Um, I was well, I've just editing it, and I realised um my bad my voice was I was pronouncing my words completely incorrectly. And that's because it's currently five thirty in the morning. I haven't slept yet, so I apologise if in the video I was mumbling like this a lot. I was quite tired, and I'm still quite tired, and I really want to go to bed. I'm going to render this while I'm asleep, so I'm just putting this a little bit in, so you know, I am sorry, my voice is mumbly, but I want to get this video done but sooner rather than later, and I want to get it uploaded, and I want to go to bed. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, I hope you guys enjoy all future episodes, please leave a comment, and let me know how you think my content is currently going, and, to uh, enjoy the video. Hello guys and welcome to a quick little video. Now you may be seeing me playing Skyrim. Am I actually going to be playing Skyrim? The answer is no. This is just, I felt like playing this. Uh, the Elimination Chamber just ended about 30 minutes ago. And uh, I was doing a live reaction video for it. But uh, when going into editing I found that it was really fucking difficult to put all the audio into sync. And I threw the video away because none of the audio fit because the microphone, um, not the microphone I'm using now, the microphone on the webcam completely fucked up. Uh, it was on a delay of about three seconds, maybe four, which made it very, very hard to sync up. And then I couldn't sync up the fucking audio from the, um, from the actual show because I was recording it through NVIDIA experience. But when you go into full screen, it fucks up and it freezes and for some reason this time it decided to freeze the fucking audio so I lost about two hours of audio and I didn't just want to upload a video of me just going whoa dude wow I can't believe because you wouldn't be able to keep up where I was at so it was awful so for next time if I'm gonna try and record one again I'm gonna do it differently uh, or I'm just not gonna full screen it uh, it was my fault for full screening it. I I thought it would just freeze the image because I didn't give a shit about the image. I just wanted the audio, but it froze the audio, which is something that's never happened before. And I'm really fucking annoyed. I did not think that would happen, but for some reason it did. Really confused for why that happened. Anyway, that video's gone, so I figured I'd just do a aftermath after match video uh, for the elimination chamber pay per view. So, the pay-per-view was pretty damn good. Uh, shit. Um, how to explain it? Uh, it was a bit predictable. Um, that was the only thing that I didn't like. I predicted three of six matches. Now, you may be thinking, oh, so you only got half of them? Uh, well, the truth is, two of them I actually didn't even, you know vote for um pretty much i didn't know what the uh what the list was for the uh the event i just knew that there was the elimination chamber and uh alexia bliss no um becky versus mickey james i didn't even remember it was alexia bliss and mickey james uh what mickey james uh naomi so, the one that I got wrong was uh, Naomi winning. I thought Alexa Bliss would have retained. Uh, I don't like Naomi. I don't see any appeal in it, but fans liked it, so fair enough. I don't like her, but, you know, I'm not going to say all you guys that you can't like her. You know, I'm not a fan of her, but fair enough. Um, for the Becky Lynch versus Mickey James match, um, I liked it. It was a good match. Um... A little, a little silly at parts, in some kind of way. I don't know, I don't know quite how to explain it, it just felt silly at the time. But it was a good match. Uh, I'm just trying to remember all the matches off the top of my head. Um, what else was there? There was the tag team turmoil. We have, do we have the champions? Who won that? I don't remember who won. Who won? I think they, I think American Alpha retained. Um. Hey, right. no wait. Um. Shit, my memory, dude. Yeah, they did. Ascension came out, and then they beat Ascension. Um. 
Yes, yeah, so American Alpha is saying that was a decent match, and I would have liked to see the Fashion Police actually win a match once, but you know, the jobbers. What are you going to do about it? Uh, what else was there? There was... Uh, oh yeah, and there was uh, Nikki Bella versus Natalia. Ugh, if you saw my reaction throughout the match, it was literally just boredom. I just don't care about Nikki Bella or Natalia. They both bore me, and I hate looking at their faces. They wear too much makeup, and it makes me feel ill. I don't know why. Uh, so, just you know, guys, uh, just I'm not just trying to pick on them um, and like be. Oh, and they have to be good looking for me to enjoy. And none of fucking don't. It's literally makeup makes me feel ill. It's always a thing, been a thing since I was a little kid. Makeup has always made me feel slightly queasy. But when you can see like them just caked in makeup, and you can. I don't know, she just, she didn't look human. Natalia doesn't look human with all that makeup on. She looks, she looks like a fucking porcelain doll. And Nikki Bella, well, she practically is a porcelain doll. But, tanned. So, yeah. Um, I just felt really ill. And I always feel ill watching them, so I couldn't just, like, just enjoy it. And I don't like Nikki Bella, and I don't like Natalia. So it wasn't an easy match for me to sit through. Nikki won. Yeah, big. No, no, he won. No, it was a double count out. So an even bigger fuck you. Um, what else was there? Uh, Kalisto versus Polo Cruz turned into a two on one against Dolph Ziggler. Dolph lost. Uh, and that match was all right, but that was on the pre-show, I think. I really don't remember. So, I think there's only one match left to talk about, and that's the Elimination Chamber. Okay, Elimination Chamber. Uh, Dean Ambrose was incredibly fucking entertaining once again. I stand by it when I say that Dean Ambrose is my favourite wrestler. He is fucking entertaining as hell, and I loved Ambrose in this match. He was incredibly energetic, his spots were fantastic. And he does his usual thing of just being a wild card and heavily entertaining and I fucking loved it. Uh, John Cena, I didn't like how he pinned The Miz with one AA. I thought that was quite bullshit. But you know, it's The Miz. WWE aren't exactly gonna make you think he's, you know, tough. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Are those broken textures? Or something? That does not look right. Um... What was I on about? Oh yeah, uh, Baron Corbin beats the shit out of Ambrose after Ambrose eliminates him and then he gets Ambrose eliminated so that the Miz can pick up the pin. And that's hyping up Ambrose versus Baron Corbin at WrestleMania where Baron Corbin will probably beat Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental title even though Dean Ambrose deserves a long and lengthy title run. I mean, I like Corbin, I wanted him to win, but I wanted him to go after the WWE World Championship, not the Intercontinental Championship. Dean Ambrose, once again, not being given a long title run, unless he beats Corbin at WrestleMania, which begs the point, what was the point in even starting on this? Because if you're just going to make Corbin lose, what was the point in giving him this push? Because he's new, talent, so he's got to go over Dean Ambrose now, but I didn't want to see that Dean Ambrose lose. But now I've got to see Dan Ambrose lose. So I'm just annoyed. But, you know, that's life. You can't have things the way you want. And I'm slightly bitter about it. Uh, Bray Wyatt won. I was very fucking happy with that. It's about fucking time Bray Wyatt won the title. He should have won it two years ago. Thank fuck he finally won it. Really happy with that decision. Uh, but it it was another match that I predicted. I knew that they were going to go in that way. Something we can have Bray versus uh, Orton at WrestleMania. Not surprising. And yeah, it was it was a decent match. Uh, what else? I think that was it. I can't remember any other matches. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. Uh, yeah, I, I can't think of any other matches. I think that's all it was. So yeah. Um, it was a good pay-per-view. Pay-per-view. I enjoyed it. Uh, and I'm looking forward to WrestleMania for once. Just really hoping that Roman Reigns doesn't have a big part in it. Because I honestly cannot be arsed with Roman Reigns. 
If, if WrestleMania was just SmackDown, then it would be very, very good. No, we would miss out on Kevin Owens and uh, Chris Jericho. And Cesaro. Even though Cesaro's probably not going to be there, he's probably going to be in the fucking Battle Royale. But he's not going to win because he's already won it before. I don't know who they're going to make win it. It's definitely. I it, it, I mean, all, for what all we know. All for, blah, 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 for all we know. Um, what's his name? James Ellsworth could be getting a massive push and James Ellsworth could win the uh, Andre the Giant Battle Royale. You never know. You never fucking know. But I want to know. I want to see come back. I want to see Zack Ryder win that match. Think about how awesome that will be. Zack Ryder finally gets his big win. He won the fucking Continental title only to lose it less than 24 hours later against The Miz. Absolute horseshit. 2012, you bury him and then you bury him again. Fuck you, WWE. Fuck you in the ass with a 12 inch strap on. Fucking cunts. Why would you do that? Anyway. Me. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this hasn't been too. Yeah, whiny. And uh, yeah, I'm going to finish this bit again. I'm going to edit and this. I'm going to try and get this out as quickly as possible to vending on the speed of my internet. Thank you very much for watching, and to our... Uh...